Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So um, it's been three weeks and I've, I've had uh, the time to, you know, look at my Dell UltraSharp 2723QE monitor. Though that's the 2723QE 4K uh, monitor from Dell. It's, uh, it's, an, it's an office product. It's a productivity monitor. So um, when I got it, okay, I just show it right here. When I got it uh, three weeks ago, I liked it and I also didn't like it um, because I'd never seen it in person. They only sell this, um, where I am in Singapore, they only sell this online and it's not in any of the stores or anything like that. So um, you can compare it to my TV and also my Dell XPS laptop. You can see that the laptop is very glossy when it's off. The TV is slightly less glossy but it's still glossy and the Dell screen is matte. So this is the first time I've had such a large matte screen. It's um, 4K 27 inches. And I'm not sure I like the look of it when it is off because, I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> I think it detracts from the clarity. I know matte is supposed to kind of allow you to um, have less reflections, but most of the time you're not in a very, very dark uh you're not you're, you're not like in a room of sunlight all the time right you can just you can just close your curtains so i'm not a fan of the matte look first off i'm a fan of the very slim bezels so you can see that the bezels here um, are so thin you they don't, they don't even bother to put the dell logo here so that's a good thing the aluminum um material is really good oh so there's a little dell wording um, at the bottom that I didn't really notice because I put my speaker here but yeah <clears throat> there's a space for the cables and right underneath you can you can you have a USB power delivery part of about up to 90 watts you have USB uh, and another, another USB slot right here and I don't know why but they put all the all the ports underneath here it's a bit hard to show you but yeah you have you basically have to like feel your way around um, unlike other computer monitor manufacturers where they kind of place the ports over here. Um, yeah, but I guess it's for aesthetic purposes. Uh, this is not an OLED panel. This is an IPS black panel, which is supposedly a little bit better than IPS black. Uh, because IPS is not as good as OLED. Um, I kind of wish they had an OLED office uh, computer monitor, but OLED is so expensive for monitors, and they are so few. They are they are actually so so few, so it it, it it's hard to find. And recently, Alienware released their uh, OLED monitor that that is about slightly more than twice the price of this. Um, I would consider it, but it is uh, ultra wide, so I don't I don't I just go for a regular sixteen by nine uh, ratio aspect ratio screen. So yeah. Uh, apart from the price, yep, this looks to be better. Um, I only wish it were glossy, and because glossy looks clearer, in my opinion. Um, so, is right here. It's you gotta reach behind for it, and when you turn it on, this is how it looks. Yep. So it retails for about um, six hundred plus USD here. Um, it's a very big and bright and vibrant screen, and part of the reason why this is so vibrant is because uh, it's an HDR mode. I was playing games last night and HDR really makes the screen very very bright. In fact it's I n almost never use it in HDR mode because um, I mean when, when I'm working because it's too bright for me but I like using it when I'm playing games or watching movies or YouTube or something like that. So yeah you can uh, turn it around uh, uh, two weeks ago, I sort of made a video where <clears throat> I unboxed it, and yes, it is very flexible, but since I have started using it, it has always been in this position. And, yeah, you can see the ports right here. It has an Ethernet port. Oh, where's my mouse? Yeah. And then uh, many USB ports, and yeah, several, there's a USB-C port over here. Um, that you can use to power your laptop, but I connected via HDMI to my desktop, so I don't really need it. Yeah, so yeah, would um, the would this monitor be better than OLED? Uh, I think not. I think for the money, um, HDR is good, but 
I take I take OLED any day. It's just a matter of when it comes out, because now there are more and more laptops with it. Uh, I have another. I have two other laptops with OLED. Uh, so yeah. Well, this this is good. This is good for office work. Um, yep. And uh, I don't mind using it, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And you basically, I don't mess around with the settings. I'm not a guy that goes for the settings a lot. Uh, but most of the time when I when I do touch this <laughs> toggle, it is to toggle between yeah smart HDR, game HDR, and then turn it off. So when I turn it off, there is a noticeable yeah decrease in brightness and it is a lot more soothing to the eyes especially if you're looking at a white background yeah you, you don't want to look at hdr all the time because it is very tiring <laughs> um yeah so uh that is basically my review of this 27 inch 4k monitor after uh three weeks the 4k resolution is really sharp um, especially when I compare using the, um, like when I'm lo looking at applications and I'm looking at Windows or Word or Excel, and on this monitor and compared to my 1080p uh, TV screen, a lot more stuff just fits on it. Like you could be looking at a web page, and just because of the res the upgrading resolution, you can just see so many more things side by side on it as compared to something that's full HD just because of the res resolution increase. Um, would I buy it again? I don't know. <laughs> um, like I said, I bought it online without being able to see it in person because Dell only sells it online where I, where I am in Singapore. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, I think as soon as a glossy OLED panel comes out, I will yeah, and it is a regular 16 by 9 aspect ratio format. I would probably go for that. But right now, this is a very, very good 4K monitor for um, yeah, office work and also some gaming. So I've been playing games on it. It's 4K 60 frames per second, and it works well. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're getting like a full 4K resolution, I don't really see the need to go higher than um, yeah, 60 FPS. So that's that's my take on it. Uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty simple device. Yeah, um, I know there's been some questions about like connectivity and stuff, uh, and some a lot of people use the USB ports, but I don't really have the need for all of those things. Maybe you could connect a hard disk drive or stuff, but I have a desktop, so all my ports are yeah <clears throat> are the desktop. It is a very good monitor. Um, Yep, just, uh, I, again, the only thing is that I wish it were OLED and I wish it were glossy. That's all. But apart from that, it looks really great. I love the design. And, yeah, I, I do enjoy um, using this over, over, you know, Samsung or LG. I mean, currently, uh, what is available in the market. Okay, so I have, and uh, if you've got any more questions, let me know. Um, yep. I also have a desktop that I haven't uh, reviewed. I got it like a month ago but it's a bit difficult to talk about it because um, yeah there's just so many components in it but I'll get uh, down to that in some time and yeah I'll get back to you so let me know if you have any questions and uh, please like or subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you in the next video